reasons why it's way better to meet your person in your 30s. For one, you're no longer dating people who have potential. You're dating the complete full package, somebody who is already who they want to be. Two, you're already financially stable, so you can do whatever you want. You can go take an amazing trip. You can get better gifts from this person. Better gifts? Well, nice to know she's not materialistic. Yeah, sounds like uh, quite a package so far. All of the things. Three, the timeline is pretty much out the window. You already know yourself. You know who you want. You know what it looks like. Oh yeah, this is exactly what guys just dream of. A woman who knows herself, AKA, I'm no fun to be with. When they come into your life. So the timeline is up to you. Number four, you by now know how to handle your emotions so much better. You've done the work on yourself, so you're not gonna be running into these roadblocks and- So guys, fighting. Um, <laughs> you, you, you hear a lot of modern women just kind of parrot this exact same list of how, oh, you know, you're more mature now, you're more confident, you know yourself, you have money in your bank. Uh, are these things attractive to you as a guy? I mean, do these things make the woman better looking? Because there are plenty of these uh, damaged females over 30, which, mo let's be honest, most of these chicks over 30 or single um, are DG, right? And uh, <laughs> if you don't believe me, you don't have to go far to look these days, right? You could go on any social media platform and see these same 30 year old females who claim to know themselves, claim to have done work on themselves, claim to have money in the bank and have their careers and their, their degrees all, you know, uh, settled, um, completely miserable and unhappy and complaining about their dating lives online. <laughs> so uh, I don't buy any of it, but uh, again, I mean, most of these chicks over 30 who are single are the DG. Uh, with the exception of widows, I have to mention that for all the dummies out there. Like, well, if she lost her husband in the military or an accident, why well, is she DG? She's not DGM. Uh, all right, dumbass. I know. Okay, I know. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about women who voluntarily forego marriage um, while they're in their sexual prime in their 20s and uh, choose to chase a career while riding the carousel. Because those are the two things you do, as you know, guys, as I teach you, that if the woman does not get married in her 20s, that's what she generally does with her 20s. She chases her career and rides the carousel, okay? She chases her job, her degrees, and you, you know, the whole nine, while banging the dudes she meets while change, chasing her job and her career and her degrees. Right? Women who get married, they're not out there banging different dudes. They're not out there like chasing their degrees or whatnot. They're just home with the same guy. But these other women who choose to forego all that stuff, believe me, they're out there banging guys while chasing their degrees and their, their careers. And um, on the weekends, they're also nightclubbing. They're going to uh, these bars and, you know, they're getting hammered. They're taking dudes home. Um, they're having multiple guys up inside of them. They're having a roster of dudes. Uh, you know, they've slept with a plethora of men already. So yeah, do, do these chicks sound appealing to you? Not to mention they have the attitude to go with it. So uh, when I hear these uh, modern, you know, women cackling about the fact that they've done work on themselves and I know myself now, uh, if that's the case, why are you so miserable? How come you can't find a man? How come you can't hang on to a man? How come you have no ring on your finger? If you're such a great catch, like you're, you perceive yourself to be, how come men aren't lining up your door? Why are men passing you up with your doctor degree, your master's degree, right? Your CFO position, your brand new you know, BMW convertible in your driver driveway your lexus why are they passing you up miss woman of the world miss independence miss i'm so confident how come they're passing you up to date the the girl who works at baskin robbins scooping ice cream right that's much younger than you 
that's much more fertile than you, that doesn't have your degrees, doesn't have your money, doesn't even have a car. She has to Uber everywhere. How come they're passing you up for her? Oh, it's because she's the catch, not you, right? Not you. But uh, you got to love how these chicks uh, cope, right? This is what we call coping with life. I think this is the most petty thing a guy has ever done to me. Last month, I went on a first date with someone. The communication leading up to the date was a little weird, but the actual date was fire. We were supposed to just do drinks, but instead he ordered food and said he wanted to turn it into dinner. We were there for a little shy of four hours. He was asking me great questions. And I'm surprised he even went to dinner with this chick. I mean, these chicks over 30 guys, you know what they were doing in their 20s. I just told you. Um, do they sound like good people to you? I mean, you want to take them to dinner and spend your money, that's on you. Uh, the farthest I'd go, even if you were going to do that, is uh, fast food. You know, you get some hot McDonald's and that's pretty much it. I was asking him questions. I, I saved my money in the dinners and, uh, you know, all of that fancy treatment for the younger women who have not yet screwed up their lives. He seemed really cool. And then he asked me a question that was a little odd. He said, have you ever gone on a first date with somebody and then they haven't asked you on a second date? I was racking my brain because I was in a relationship for six years, so I haven't done this whole dating thing that much. And I was like, no, I don't think that's ever happened to me. And he said, well, maybe I could be the first. And I kind of laughed it off. At the end of the night, he walked me to my Uber and he said, I really look forward to seeing you again. I'll reach out to make plans. And then I never heard from him. <laughs> also, he could be the first to not ask me on a second date. Like, don't you win whatever weird game you were playing. Well, it sounds like to me that uh, he was not interested in you. And this is a commonality with these modern females that um, are still out there three decades into their lives, right? They're still out there, Miss I'm Such a Catch, right? I know myself, done work on myself, got my own money. Ooh, I'm such a catch. Uh, but nobody's trying to catch you. That's the problem. I, I, I mean, the, I, all I see coming from these chicks is uh, they're going on all of these first dates, barely getting a second date, and they're just getting flaked on, right? They're just constantly getting flaked on and ghosted. Some guys are, uh, many guys actually, are dropping them even before they get sex. They don't even want sex from them. They just like realize like, okay, this, this was just a little too easy. These chicks are just too much of a slam dunk. It's no challenge for me. Um, maybe I should take M's advice and start going for these younger women. On to the next. What it's like dating New York City. Huh. Okay, so there's another female in her mid-30s here. Um, we're just going through her text messages, and uh, all of these guys are essentially dumping her, right? And I am going to bet a million that these guys have already gotten, have already milked the cow for free. They've already gotten between her legs. Um, so now they are making their exit. They're ejaculating and evacuating as many guys do with these uh, females over 30 because guys don't want these women in the end. They know they're just a temporary holdover until they could get the female in her early 20s, right? Those are the women that these guys are concentrated on, that want to put their effort and energy towards, that want to spend their money on, that want to take to the dinners and, you know, and whatnot. These are the guys that, you know, you're just the holdover because the younger women in their 20s, um, they're like rock stars at that age. Everybody wants them, so they're just essentially waiting for their turn. But in the meantime, you're just kind of like a snack, right, to hold them over until this chick frees up. So uh, she got a text that says, I guess I just wanted... So the guy is dumping her. He says, I guess I just wanted to get, get it out there that I'm still kind of messed up from my last relationship and not really ready for anything serious. Sorry, I don't want to lead you on at all. <laughs> So that's guy number one. Another one, thank you. Second guy. Uh, hey, hope the weekend was fun, girl. I thought you should hear it from the horse's mouth out of respect for you and what you are looking for. A girl that I talked to in the past reached out and has made me out in a bit of a mental pretzel. And if one thing is for sure, it's that I'm not looking for anything serious at the moment. You're going to, you know, hey, you ladies with your, I've done work on myself and I've got my degrees and my, you know, my six-figure job and my Beamer. 
um, and money in my account. I know you guys are very familiar with this, right? I'm not looking for anything serious from the guys you date. You're going to hear this all day long, right? These guys that you've already given the sex to, you've already given the cow to, think that the, it'll you know convince these guys to stay because I'm so experienced in bed, he won't want to leave. Well, this is what you're getting, ladies. Right? Sorry, I'm not looking for anything serious. He goes on to say, wanted to tell you so I don't waste your time or lead you down a path since you're looking for something a little more serious. Right? These guys are better than me. I wouldn't even give them that much, right? And the reason why is not because I don't want to be per uh, polite or courteous. It's just this was a treatment you gave guys in your 20s. Who are we kidding? Right? I've been out there a long time as a professional PUA. So I'm not fooled by these ladies, right? Of course, I, I do know that, again, for the dummies out there, there are those rare exceptions where the woman lost her husband to some freak accident or something that happened, illness, and she is a widow. I, I do genuinely feel bad for those women, and uh, they have my utmost sympathy. And I really hope they find what they're looking for, and they should be first in line. But for these other chicks that are just DG by their own hand, they're their own worst enemy, uh, they play themselves, right? I don't feel bad for them. They put themselves in this situation. And again, the only way you put yourself in this situation is by chasing your career and riding the carousel at the same time. Chasing your career and banging dudes that you meet along the way. Okay? So I don't feel bad for these chicks and um, these guys... I don't even know why they're dropping her a message because she didn't drop these messages for dudes. She was dating her 20s. She just, like, disappeared on these guys. Another one, thank you. Another one, thank you. Is this one, uh, yeah, here's another one. It says, I'm sorry to say, but I have not completely been honest with you. I am not broken up with my girlfriend. We have been going through a series of more than challenging rough patches which has not been easy on us to reach a final conclusion i know it's no excuse for me to present myself as emotionally available it has been a humbling result to share a real common interest with someone for the first time i felt you should know before this gets out of hand aka uh thanks for uh, giving me the milk for free and i'm done with you now there's nothing left you have to offer you know this is a trend here guys um the the dudes who do like just dabble in dating these older women over 30 only do it long enough to have sex with them and as soon as they get that they're out the door right they are running out the door they're not even taking their time they are running out there and dropping her the goodbye message like hey don't ever call me again it's over so all these women who think they're such a great catch because they've done all this work on themselves how come none of these guys want to stay you know why it's you right your attitude stinks they, when will they wake up to that? I mean, at least if they had a positive attitude, they were giving, nurturing, the guy might keep the chick around at least for something. But these guys want nothing to do with them beyond sex. That should tell you something. Another one, thing. Hey, another one. I'm really sorry, but I was thinking about things over the last couple of days. Yeah, after I slept with you. And I want to be transparent that I'm not looking for anything, any serious relationship at this point. These guys, I mean, these guys should just copy and paste these messages, right? Because to, for these DGs that they even bother dating. I wouldn't even bother with these chicks. I don't even know why. I know these guys need a little bit of a holdover. This is why you need to get into mastery, son. So you don't even need to, you don't even need to date with these chicks and deal with their mouths or their braggioso for even a minute just to sleep with them, right? Because I know you have to put up with that nonsense, right? That's why these guys don't like to go with them to any concerts, any movies, any dinners. They just want to come straight over your house, do the deed, and leave because they don't want to sit there and listen to you for hours and hours talk about yourself and how great you are and how fantastic you are and all these challenges I overcame to get this job and make this kind of money. and They don't want to hear it. They just want to hit it and quit it, right? Right or wrong. Thank you. So there you go. Welcome to dating in your 30s, ladies. Looks fantastic, and you guys are such a catch that uh, none of you can hang on to these uh, these so-called men that you're dating, which are generally lower-tier men because high-value guys aren't even going to waste their time. 
But as always, gentlemen, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think. It's a nice coaching video. Anything you'd like to add, anything you'd like to share, please feel free to drop your comments below. Love to see you guys in my comments. Always love to read them, so drop those comments below. As always, this is M from The 33 Secrets signing out here. Don't forget to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and smash that notification bell as well. Do it for the YouTube algorithm. Appreciate it. And, of course, if you want to support my work, jump into 7 Months of Mastery. It's really easy to sign up. Just click the link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. Just takes two seconds and it's only one buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me. It's the best way to support my work and you're gonna gain a ton of value from it. So click the link below, get into mastery. I'll see you in my next coaching video.